Hey everybody, Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. I've got an After Effects tutorial for you today. We're going to be taking a look at how to create an audio visualizer. This is the second ever After Effects tutorial on this channel. Hopefully many, many more to come. But following the vein of kind of just some basic After Effects stuff, this is a built-in effect in After Effects. But if done well, whew, it is really super cool. Now we're also going to be setting this audio visualization to a, uh, a cover song that I am singing. Uh, I, I recorded it a while ago though, so you feel free to judge away on the voice. Singing is something that I always kind of wished I was good at, but it's, uh, it's not quite there. I'll put it to you that way. It's not quite there. And it will be very clearly evidenced by the fact that there's a lot of reverb and other effects really helping smooth out the vocal track here. Uh, but we'll check that out in a second. If you do enjoy this After Effects tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can check out all the other After Effects tutorials that have come before and will be coming after this and always be kept, you know, abreast of the latest and greatest in the world of After Effects here on the Tutvid channel. So without further ado, guys, well, hey, let's check out the audio visualization, visualization effect right now. There we go. And of course, I picked the part of the song where I think I sound best. Uh, but hey, let's jump into After Effects and check out how to create that. So here in After Effects, first thing we're going to do is just go composition, choose to create a new composition. Uh, you can name the composition whatever you want. I'm just going to name it audio, but the name really doesn't matter. Uh, width and height, I'm going 2560 by 1440. Uh, the frame weight or the frame rate, excuse me, totally up to you. Uh, I'll probably just go with 30 frames per second. Uh, you could also do like 2997 if you want, whatever you're working with. But something that's kind of important is you probably want to set the duration to about or exactly the duration of your audio track. So I know my audio track is two minutes, 45 seconds. So I set my duration here of the composition to two minutes, 45 seconds, and I'm going to hit OK. There is my composition. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to the finder and I'm going to drag my MP3 into my project here. And down here in my the, the layer stack, I'm going to right click and choose to create a new solid color. So this is just going to be our background and I'm going to select the color swatch here and just a very dark gray. Here, just 1C, 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 if you can see that. Uh, that's going to work great for our background. 2560, 1440. Perfect, beautiful, love it, hit OK. There is our gray background. In fact, for my sizing option here, I'm just going to choose to fit this onto my screen. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like part of After Effects is hidden, so I'm going to use my little hidden hotkey to just pull all of After Effects onto my screen, just like so. Now, what we're looking for is an effect over in the Effects and Presets panel here, uh, and it's down here under Generate, so we're going to open up generate and we're going to go with the audio spectrum so I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna drag and drop this out here on uh, on top of my document and you can see I get this black thing with this line going across the middle now a couple things real quick we need to jump back over and I can click there's this little space here to the left of my effect controls panel that little space is gonna bring me back to my project bin uh, I need to drag my mp3 file down here into my layer stack. Now it doesn't really matter where it is. We can put it above, we can put it below. We just need it there for reference. We want to select our dark gray solid layer because it is here where we have our audio spectrum. Now I'm going to select that audio spectrum and I'm going to head back to my effect controls. The first thing that I want to do is come down here and choose this composite on original option. In fact, I'll move over so we can see that. That's going to knock away all that blackness and just leave me with my audio spectrum. Next up, I need to come up here and select the audio layer. Remember, we have the audio down here as a layer. Now we just need to specify that. So I'm going to say, look, yep, take the Hallelujah cover two. There we go. Now we have our music synced up with this audio spectrum. Here's where things are going to start getting kind of cool. I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to change the inside color here. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to set it to uh, FF00, like 79, all right? So it's going to be kind of this hot pink almost. And then the outside color, I'm going to select that. And for this, I'm going to go uh, FF. 00 EA. So it's just kind of a lighter pink. But in order to kind of mix things up a little bit, I'm going to come down here to hue interpolation. This is where we add some interest. And I'm just going to set this to like plus 90. Whoops, I'm go plus 90, something like that. And I don't know if you can see, but we go from like a pink to like a red, orange, yellow, green, orange, red, back to pink. So we get a really cool mix of colors, but it's really difficult to see because we don't have much in the way of artwork going on yet. So here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to change these options in terms of uh, some of the maximum height and frequency bands and things. But we have some options down here we need to mess with first, or really just one option. That is display options. We can go with digital. We can go with analog line or analog dots. Now, these are all pretty cool. So digital is just going to give you like a very standard lines going up and down. It looks pretty cool. In fact, as I go over this, if we come up here to our maximum height, right, we got maximum height. And I'm going to set this to something extreme. Like I'm going to go like 6,000, right? You can see how we've got these lines that kind of pop and jiggle along with the music really cool but with the digital display option we have the sides a b and sides a and b so i could just say like hey look just go with sides a and you can see the lines are only going to shoot straight up from a flat spot that's kind of cool i'm going to stick with sides a and b here and i'm going to change display options down here to analog lines because we just get this really sick looking line now you can see it's kind of looking like electrical you know like an electrical frequency right now you know like a buzzing zapping you're not quite sure what to expect from it so what I want to do here, I just want to double check a couple things here. I want to make sure start frequency is at 20 and frequency 2000. That's perfect. I want to change the frequency bands. I want more frequency bands. I want to change this to like 250. You're going to see immediately that's given us a really cool looking audio wave. And I could come down here to side options and just see what this looks like and see if it looks like something I'd be interested in. Nah, but I think I think sides A and B with the with the analog lines looks really really cool. Now I'm not going to mess with audio duration or audio offset. Uh, we could toy with the thickness of the line a little bit. Maybe we'll make it a little bit thicker. Let's try like five. Eh, maybe five is too much. We'll go to four. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Uh, and then the softness, I can leave it at 50. I could set it to zero. You'll see it's going to just make the line a little bit harsher. I think I'm just going to roll with 50%. I don't mind if there's a little fuzziness, just like that you know buzzing electrical feel. Uh, and then I'm going to change the the start and end point. I'm going to make it a little bit narrower. So I'm going to set my start point to like, I don't know, 550 maybe. We'll push it over. And then the end point, we'll pull it back to like 1800 or something like that. Eh, maybe 1800 is too far. We'll go like 1950. So there we go. We kind of just pull it back more into the center of our document. And I can just quickly pulse through this and see what it looks like. And if it, you know, if it all looks like it's contained pretty well, you can, you can either just be content with where you are. We could try making the size a little bit bigger like we were looking at doing before. If we do that, we might want to reduce the number of frequency bands. Maybe take it down to like 175 and see what that looks like. Eh, I think I like it with 250 at a thickness of four. I think that's a really, really cool look. I think it's gonna work for what we've got. Now, at this point, probably your best bet is going to be to render this video out of After Effects uh, because playing through it here in After Effects, it's going to, it's gonna, you know, it's never gonna quite sound in tune. I'll put it to you that way. It's just never gonna quite sound in tune uh, because it'll never fully render in time. You'll have to watch through it a whole number of times. It'll just take a long time to render. So you can send it over to the render queue, you go file, export, add to render queue, boom, here we are in render queue. We can output it as whatever. I just have it as the lossless, uh, but you can go and, and you know hone in whatever you like in terms of whatever your settings are, and then choose where to output it and render that video out, and you will get what we just got, what we just saw at the beginning of this tutorial. So. You can see it's a really super cool effect and it's very, very simple here in After Effects. And there's a really a lot of control you have in terms of the thickness of your line or your bars or whatever you end up deciding to do. The analog dots too, don't sleep on that. That's a really cool like bouncing, exploding looking effect. Uh, a lot of really, really cool stuff you can do with this audio spectrum effect in Adobe After Effects. Guys, I hope you liked it for creating this audio visualizer using the audio spectrum generator here in After Effects. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds in tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do. And this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.